Good afternoon to all of you. This is Chef Bernard from BHM department. I'm going to talk on holistic food. I welcome the first year's AMC engineering students for this holistic food. The first of all, I just want to tell you holistic food and their importance. Many people, you have heard about the different types of food, like Mexican, fast food, Rajasthani food, Marwadi food, and uh, French, uh, French food or Italian food. So many foods you might have heard, but many of you wouldn't have heard of this word holistic. The whole holistic, usually we remember holy and the living, we always think of the word living, holistic living. We have been living for a holistic way, like meditation, spiritually, we say holy. So when holy stick, we are talking the chapter on foods, it is completely relating to the food what we intake. The food what we intake should be holy, H-O-L-Y, which is also refers as very clean. Clean in the sense, we every day we eat our food, we don't know what we eat sometimes, and with knowing or without knowing also, we have so many foods, but we don't know what for. As our everyday schedule, like morning breakfast, afternoon lunch, and dinner, we have our food, but we don't analyze what we eat and how much of calories do we require every day for our daily lively. So the chapter or the topic today for you all is holistic food. So everybody might be thinking, what is the importance for us to know what is holistic? Because nowadays, a lot of virus have been spreading around the world, and we should be aware of what food we have. And whatever food we have, we should see that our immune power is more to resist and to fight against the virus. So holistic food is all about eating nutritional food to keep our health, well-being, word well-being, the word holistic refers also to holy clean. Holy clean away from the bacteria, whatever the bacteria we have, we have to see that without the bacteria, we'll have the food. Food plays a major role in our life with equally the water and the air. Sometimes we don't have food, we faint, we fall down, and sophistication, no air is there. And immediately what we do, we ask whether did you have your breakfast? They say, no, I didn't have my breakfast. So immediately he faints down, and we say the people to just leave, give some free air to him, give some fresh air, let him relax. So he relaxes. So immediately after the relax, he gets some fresh air and then we give him water. So food, holistic food is all about eating healthy food close to the nature, nature state. The nature state in the sense what the product or whatever the material what we get, nature, through nature, we should see that we consume. The hallmarks of the realistic food, holistic food is nutritive value of the food, whether it is unrefined or refined, depending upon the status of the food. When I say refined, it is purified and all the bacteria have been removed and unrefined without the bacteria. 
we have lot of vegetables we have fruits we have whole grains everything we consume every day to get our nutritive value and the vitamins holistic food is also so unprocessed food organic and locally grown whole foods so today we are talking i am going to talk about what is holistic food and what is the importance of the holistic food and how it plays a important role in our career so now i would like to go to the slide so holistic food the whole holistic i told you already it refers to be holy clean and away from bacteria when we buy certain foods even nowadays even you see the ads and all you wash it in turmeric water or salt water when you buy some vegetables at home we say we have to wash the vegetables in a lukewarm water so that the bacteria gets die and the food what we take should be clean away from the bacteria eating healthy food close to the natural i was telling already whether it is unrefined or refined unprocessed organic foods and locally grown grown whole food so the components of holistic foods are as like this so we will find that when the food when we have food we should know what all the food contents what all the food contents the food is contents with carbohydrates protein fats vitamins minerals water and fiber so we'll go one by one we will find out what are the what are the importance of this carbohydrates how important the carbohydrates are there in our career in our life so the first one we go to the carbohydrates carbohydrates are made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen oxygen atoms it is used to produce energy formation of cells and carbohydrates is a combination or a components or a chemicals which are sugar starch fruit juice i mean uh, fiber found in fruits grains vegetables and milk products so the main function i told you it is used for producing energy and formation of the cells it helps fuel your brain kidney heart muscles and central nervous system even fiber is a carbohydrates that aids in digestion keeps the blood cholesterol level in check so the main source bread rice potatoes corn beans and the other root vegetable particularly these root vegetables have more of fiber content 
the worst carbohydrates or processed grain wheat rice or wheat flour white wheat flour cereals with sugar coating so the protein the carbohydrates plays an important role for the holistic food protein is very important for our body it helps in repairing own tissues due to lack of protein contents what happens the tissues break and as a result we fall in sick so you should see that we have more of protein foods when we take our foods intake if we don't have proteins in our body the cells will be damaged so the protein also helps in worn out the tissues it is a protein is a nutrient for building block of body tissues it has more energy density and the characteristics of protein is its main ammonia acid the composition of ammonia acid it also helps in allowing the metabolism and the reaction to take place and to coordinate the bodily function fats fats is also one of the component of our body fats when we say fat it is always we think of the animal fat or uh, we think of the fat we are suppose we are bulky or anything we say i am a fat person i have to do some exercise i should have to bring down my weight yes it's fact it's correct we have to do it so fats is a nutrient it is a nutrient it is a source of energy every time that's why you should have a limited of fats when we add particularly when we add some ghee usually when you have a thali or indian foods most of the food we add ghee a spoon of ghee to the body to our food to enrich the taste the flavor the aroma and we get lot of fats in that uh, protein contents in our uh, uh, ghee so we add the food and sometimes this uh, it adds the taste and the texture to the food also by giving a food sometimes you might have seen some of the foods are being glazed with some butter to show the attraction to the guest or to the people the put some oil or something and glaze it and keep it so that the people get attracted to it it helps in absorbing or soluble vitamins also the vitamins what we take in is also absorbed by this fats in our body the source for vitamin fats are oil ghee milk butter eggs and meats so your red meat when i say red meat also because these red meats have fats the fats they are uh, good fats and the bad fats in the other words we say scientifically uh, saturated fat and unsaturated fat so both the fats play a very important role in our daily life so we should take fats also the importance all these fats whatever we take in our body should be easily digested and the metabolism works according to that so if i was telling you about the fats one is the saturated fat and the unsaturated fat saturated fats is one of the healthy fats 
food like butter palm coconut oil cheese red meat high amount of saturated fat unsaturated fats helps reduce the risk of heart disease and lower cholesterol level olive olive oil olive fruits are also very good to have less of your cholesterol and even green tea nowadays people go to drink green tea more to bring down the cholesterol level because the green tea has the antioxidants in the leaf which bring down the cholesterol level peanut which is one of the best antioxidants which is present in the peanut and canola oil also the source of unsaturated fats avocados avocado is also called as a butter fruit nuts such as almonds hazelnuts and pecans so the main so i for, i was telling you about the vitamins also the vitamins it helps in digestion or even absorbs absorption metabolism metabolism is nothing but our daily routine what we have our daily routine in our life so metabolism plays very important role in our daily life according to the food what we intake the source for the vitamins are cod liver oil milk eggs sweet potatoes carrots milks bread fortified cereals almonds almonds so vitamins are very important in our body minerals minerals is a catalyst for many biological reactions within the body production of hormones structural structural function of bones acid base and water balance minerals are a solid substance that are present in nature and can be made one element or more the main functions of the minerals are nerve transmission and muscle contraction and it helps in having healthy bones and particularly the teeth and functioning of the blood clotting and immune system health so the main source of the minerals are animals and plant foods so water is one of the main component is water which we every day we take in water we drink water and we say when we have more water it is good for our metabolism metabolism is food what we take in and all the waste products is been removed from to the toxins water portion major portion of our body is formed with water about 70% of our body is with water and 30% is with bone and the flesh so we are also called as water bodies water bodies in our lad uh, we say water bodies so it also helps the water also helps 
to observe nutrients nutrients from the food so what all the food we take the foods due to this water it incorporates with the water and the nutrients observed by the water and it passes through the cells most essential and it is one of the most essential component in our life for our body to function it also helps in throwing out the waste from our body the source of uh, water or vegetables fruits milk and tea i was telling you about the tea the green tea which helps in bringing down the cholesterol level because of the antioxidant which is present in the tea leaves fiber is also one of the component in the food fiber prevents constipation fiber prevents constipation like uh, you have when you have some constipation problem you go to a doctor and say i am not i am having this constipation problem immediately the doctor says you go and have have some spinach or leafy vegetable or some uh, fiber more of vegetables you have so that your problem will be solved so the constant fiber is also one of the best main component in the food it also the main functions of the it is observes the main function of the fiber is it absorbs water it absorbs water and the second is facies for easy defection defection defecation is nothing but eliminating the waste products from the body it absorbs water i told you and the main source of the fiber is fruits plum berries banana apple pears broccoli broccoli is a cauliflower where you would have seen in a green color which is has of more of chlorophyll so whichever the vegetables are having more of greenish in color they have more chlorophyll chlorophyll is nothing but the oxygen which produces in the uh, uh, vegetables or the leafy vegetables so it is antioxidants whichever you see more of green is with the chlorophyll and which has more of oxygen to our body carrots of course of course carrot is one of the root vegetables which has more of fiber content which helps in our metabolism and in our constipation problems whole grains like the millets your millets also helps in diabetic patients who are with diabetics they has to have some ragi ball or ragi chapati or some millet porridge which helps in the fiber because when more of fiber is there automatically our body gets easily digested and due to the digestion the energy starts producing and we have more of energy when our body gets well intact and we are fit to be and living the millets nowadays the millets are playing a very very important role in our life because about 80 to 80% of the whole world are facing with a diabetic problem now so whole millets we should see that we have more of whole foods whole fruits or grains in our daily life so some of the best natural foods which are having the nutritive value uh, will nutritive values are the the apple the apple which is an apple a day they say keeps the doctor away 
So apple is very good for our body to have to produce the energy in our daily life. So every day we can have an apple which is in high in fiber, vitamin C and numerous antioxidants. Avocado, there are different avocado, different types of avocados and it is, comes under the fruit category because they are loaded with healthy fats and instead of carbohydrates. Among the foods, banana, the world's best source for potassium, potassium and the blueberries. Blueberries are perennial flowering plant with the blue and purple leaves. Commercially, the blueberries, both they are wild and cultivated also. Usually they grow in shrubs and in a, grown in a low level bushes, highly level, highly with less of fat. The fat is very less in the blueberries and only potassium, carbohydrates, diet, dietary fiber, vitamin A, D, B6, C16, magnesium and iron are present in blueberries. Oranges, oranges is very good for our daily life nowadays is a seasonal vegetable, seasonal fruits, which every day we should see that we intake the orange. Orange is a citrus food, which helps in the skin glow. Strawberries, strawberries also have more of the fiber contents in it. Eggs is a proteins, which is uh, enriches our body. Lean meat, when you say the word lean meat, lean meat is nothing but a less of fat. A meat which does not have fat is called as a lean meat. That's why when we talk about the lean meat, usually we say chicken breast, chicken breast which, is, which has less of fat and lamb, we say lamb also, lamb meat because this lamb is being pasteurized in the field with the, they eat only grass. They don't eat anything that's why the lamb meat is very, very soft and tender and less of fat. Nuts, seeds, and peanuts, they are of high in antioxidants. And almonds are one of the uh, nuts which has more of fiber contents. And chaya seeds contains fiber, magnesium, manganese, and calcium. There are some more fruits which has coconuts. Coconuts are fat vitamins and mang manganese. Walnuts, vitamins, they have fiber and minerals. Peanuts, I told you already, peanuts have antioxidants and vegetables have all the protein contents in the vegetables, fiber, vitamins, all are present in the vegetables. Asparagus is a, it's a root vegetable, which is the stems. The stems are being used in the asparagus and which has more of fiber and it has low of, it is less of cholesterol. It, it, it does not, it brings down the cholesterol level if you have asparagus. And it also has vitamin K. Bell pepper, there are a lot of several colors nowadays, even white color bell pepper, you can see different colors, purple, red, green, yellowish, all. You say the capsicum, the capsicum only is called as a bell pepper because this capsicum we have seen only in green. But nowadays we are getting a red, red capsicum, yellow capsicum, green capsicum. Even nowadays you can get even white capsicum also. The days are coming. It is organic organic vegetable it is and the next one i would like to tell about the broccoli 
broccoli, it has having vitamin K, vitamin C and fiber. We can have this uh, broccoli either in a salad form or in a cooked form, whether you can have it. Carrots, raw or cooked, we can have, which is having vitamin K. And it also has the protein name as carotene, which is also having antioxidants. Cucumber, low in carbs and calories, more of water and vitamin K. Garlic is a very, very essential food. It contains alkyne and bacteria, uh, bioactive compounds with powerful biological effects to improve the immune function. Tomatoes, it is a kind of a fruit. It is also comes under the category of fruits which has more of potassium and vitamin C. There are some healthy vegetables which uh, we come across like artichoke. Artichoke, it is boiled and the center portion of the artichoke is being eaten. Just an, we can have some dressing, we can have some minus dressing or even we can have a vinegar dressing. It is vinegar dressing and not even vinegar with salad oil some salt and pepper and uh, minus dressing is minus with some salt and pepper and you can just dip it and have it as a starter. This usually this artichoke goes as a starter in the continental dishes. Brussels sprouts, it's a small baby cabbage, it is a, it, which has, it is also called as a leafy vegetables and cabbage is also a leafy vegetables, then celery, Eggplants. Eggplants is nothing but in a in a cookery term we say eggplant, but in generally we say it's a brinjal. Leeks, lettuce, mushroom. Mushroom is a fungi. It is a fungi which is grown on the moderate temperature. Radish, squash, turnips, and zucchini. Zucchini. There are one or two types of zucchinis. Uh, there are green zucchini and you can find the yellow one also. The yellow one is also called as the gogatis, which is used in most of the French cuisine. The seafoods like salmon, sardines, prawns, shims, shellfish, tuna, trot. And when you talk about the whole grains, usually we should see that the brown grains play a very important role in our career. And even nowadays, oats porridge, oats, and just millets, all are very good in fiber to have our food. So food to avoid and food to take. Sugary drinks, sugary drinks are carbonated drinks like Pepsi, uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, all the soft drinks, all the soft drinks are having pesticides. They eat all the drinks as a pesticide and they are sugar drinks, sugar being added to the chemicals, artificial sugar is being added to make those drinks. Rather, we can have either soda or water or coffee, tea, and the tea with a slice of a lemon. Food to avoid most pizzas. Pizzas all are gluten content, which uh, the fiber is being removed from the whole wheat. The refined flour, when we talk about the refined flour, the husk of the flour is removed. There are two differences between the refined flour and the atta or the wheat flour. So the wheat flour is, has the husk, but whereas the refined flour does not have the husk. So only the gluten content is there, which is elasticness. So it is not good for it because it, it does not digest very fast. That's why when you go to any fast foods or anything, or you're having a pizza, they offer you some Pepsi, Coca-Cola, or some soft drinks with that so that you drink that pizza so that you easily get 
digested. Whole wheat, again, it has a gluten. More of whole wheat will have more carbohydrates and gluten. So we should see that the gluten content food we don't have. Rather, we can have some multigrain bread, multigrain bread free from the gluten. Canned fruit juices, this flan juices are used as a preservatives. They, the preservatives are added to all the cans and sometimes you might have seen in the food sachets or food packets, emulsifier, stabilizer, food additives, all these kind of things are being added, which are not good for our health. But for time being, why they add is to increase the shelf life of that particular food. So any canned food, the sugar goes under the caramelization. So the temperature for caramelization is 280 degree. The sugar goes to 280 degree and it gets burnt and it becomes like a tar. So what happens even when we take in these kind of juices, we get affected by this canned juice. So rather, instead of having this canned fruit juices, we can have fresh juices directly taken of fruits and peel it and make a fresh juice and have early in the morning or any time whenever you feel. The best time, according to the scientific league, they say the best time to have fruits is evening time after four to five o'clock. So you should have the fruits and always it should not be a mixed fruit. The scientifically it says you should have a single fruit at that time. So next one is a sweetened breakfast. I told you it is nothing but the sugar, sugared uh, cereals, which nowadays we get is easy for use. Instant, we don't search for a sugar or anything. Easy for use directly, we start using it. So we should avoid the cereals which are sugar coated rather directly. Instead of that, we can have some boiled vegetables or stewed vegetables or steamed vegetables or even blanched also. Blanch is nothing but immersing some vegetables in a hot water for a few minutes to, to retain the color and uh, retain the vitamins in the, that is called blanching. So fried, grilled, or broiled foods, we should avoid to serve because the oil content is more, the fat is more, rather we can go for yogurt and the dark chocolate. When you say yogurt is nothing but curd because this curd has a very good bacteria. It is also called as a fungus, which helps in our easy digestion. That's why after uh, having a meal, we usually have a buttermilk in the end of our meal so that our digestion problem gets well. Dark chocolate, it has more of antioxidants because of the cocoa bean. Pastries and cookies and cakes. These pastries and cookies are made out of uh, butter or even margarine. There are two types of margarine. One is the puff margarine and other cake margarine. So all these uh, margarine are used while making the pastries. And rather, we can go for unprocessed plants, food and animal food, which are unprocessed, which are directly from the butchery shop. So French fries, again, carbos and potato chips. Rather, we can make some homemade fresh juices or even homemade ice creams can be made. You can just make some uh, puree of the fruits and you can frozen it uh, by adding little of gelatin to it and setting it in a small bowl in a deep freezer and you can just take it out and have it. It is almost like a fresh ice cream or fresh juice, frozen fresh juice. And gluten-free junk foods, junk foods we should not have because of the, the processes. It has, it has been processed when we say processed. A lot of process goes under to make that particular food for banking. So rather we can have some unprocessed meat directly from the butchers. 
ice creams are not good. Rather that I was telling you, you can make a fresh juice, some ice creams which are good. A real made, we can have some real homemade cheeses like our cottage cheese, which is a paneer. We should avoid candy bars and processed meat and processed cheese. So the, I want to give you some tips to stay healthy. Drink water more, minimum of eight to 12 glasses every day in the morning. And whenever you're drinking the water, you should see that always you sit down and drink. You should not goggle and stand and drink the water. The scientific proves that we have to sit down and take in water little by little so that your, the water is being observed by all the uh, components of the body. I was talking to you about the carbohydrates, the vitamins, the fats. These fats and these uh, uh, components observe water for our metabolism. The exercise, the next one is the exercise. Every day you should see that you do an exercise, not like just doing a small exercise and living it. We should see that we bring it to a, the sweating level. The water should come out from our skin pores when we do our exercise and sleep and get up at the right time. Usually our brain starts working in the night after 12 o'clock, after two o'clock, sorry. It is two o'clock to two o'clock to uh, morning four o'clock. The brain starts working and we should see that we, we, we see that we sleep in a right time. Plan your everyday meal. Plan your everyday meal with at least one to two meal and see that we intake at least one or two whole, either it can be a vegetable or a fruit in raw. So, so that we get directly the vitamins in our body. And meditate at least 15 to 30 minutes and evaluate every day a month. See, we take our uh, vehicles for checking or even uh, our mobile or everything we give for service, but we don't give our body for service. So we should see that every day or at least every month we watch what our body status is. So you have to evaluate every month your body, what is the condition of your body. And according to that, you can take your vegetables or your fruits or whatever, you can go to it. Thank you. Now I would like to show you a small video, which will be interesting to see.
Top 10 Most Nutritious Foods Here, in this article we are going to provide you top 10 most nutritious foods. These 10 foods measured to be healthier. Most significant thing to remember by everyone is the true secret of healthy eating is balanced diet. Nutrients include vitamins, water, carbohydrates, minerals, fiber, minerals, protein, and fats. 1. Almonds. Cardiovascular health can be promoted by eating almonds which contains fatty acids. Almonds is rich source of nutrients consist of calcium, iron, fiber, vitamin E, magnesium and riboflavin. 2. Oatmeal. Oatmeal is made up from ground oats which is rich in carbohydrates and water-soluble fiber. Oatmeal is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins B, potassium and folate. 3. Broccoli. It includes potassium, calcium, phytonutrients, vitamin C, antioxidant and fiber. Phytonutrients reduce developing risk of heart disease, diabetes and some cancer.